Okay, so um, here's the deal, y'all. Makers Creative Collab March. Going for gold. Hey, y'all. APG Jamie here. And today we're going for gold. Because <laughs> I know you figured that out already because you're smart. And we're going to use the mono printing plate. There is a um, list of ingredients in the description box below. Not listing paint colors because, you know, I use turquoisey, bluesy kind of stuff. And so we got that. We're also going to be using some um, foil flakes, you know, like you do for uh, goalie foiling, flaky, that kind of stuff. So be prepared for that. Uh, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. As you may be able to see, there are some on that. There are pieces of paper. Oh, I'm using a, uh, a lightweight cardstock. This is the first time I'm using the mink foil flakes. So, I don't know. Because, you know, mink is typically a heat sticky foil. So I, I really, I don't know, y'all. We're just doing it because, you know, they was on sale at the store while I was there. So, I, I picked them up. And, um, we're going for gold. Real good job. And they will stick to your plate. Uh, I do recommend, it's just me, that you start with some sort of base color on your paper, okay, so that it's not just plain white paper. And uh, that you, because I did not do it during this uh, particular session, but you do get your layers all going on up there and then put your gold flakes on like the last pull sort of kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, and I know, mm -hmm, I know, I mentioned that this is a uh, hop and it, well, maybe I didn't say it was hop. It's a hop, y'all. For Makers Creative Collab. Uh, there will be links in the description box. Please check out all my fellow collaborators. Okay? And uh, you can always search the hashtag because there have been prior events and hopefully there will be future events. At least that's the plan. Man. Um, and also, the uh, I, I put a hashtag on it. I don't know that the second part needs a hashtag. It's kind of the theme which is going for gold. That's G-O-L-D, gold. Like jewelry, you know. Look at this one. Oh, it's pretty, y'all. It's pretty. So, um, as I actually edited on this video, I thought maybe it didn't show enough of the gold or the metal, or metal flakes, they're not metal. I'm sure, pretty sure, pretty sure it's not real gold, y'all. I might call it real gold, but but it's not, for sure. It's, I don't know what it is, y'all. Mylar, plastic, I, I don't know. Any hoots. I didn't think that uh, this kind of really showcased it that well. And so I thought, well, I'll just film Again, because, I mean, you can never have too many mono prints, right? It's just, okay, well, maybe some people can. Maybe you can, you know, maybe maybe not. Anyway, now they're going to mow the yards. Thank you, neighbors. Any hoots. Uh, so I tried filming again, and uh, <laughs> y'all know how my luck is sometimes, okay, you know. Um, it, it messed up. The actual video stopped. I don't know what happened, y'all. Computer, operator, error, lost footage. I don't know, but I can't even find the part where I put the gold on. But just so you know in advance, there's going to be a going for gold follow-up. Because ah, I'm not one to waste footage of any sort. Well, they have to be really bad, but, you know, 
So there'll be a follow-up in a few days. Uh, how many few days? I don't know. Just, I don't know, a few days. So, um, and yeah, we're going to use this paper to uh, make a project. So, okay. So I stopped recording briefly because somebody sneezed. <laughs> bless me, y'all. Bless me. Bless my heart. Bless my sneeze. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know I always need blessings. Oh, y'all. Any hooties. Um, we have a time limit of 20 minutes. Uh, I don't think I... Um, I don't think it's a 20-minute video. It, it might could be. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see because my, my screen won't advance and let me look. I am happy with my prints, y'all guy and in the next follow-up there'll be a little solution if you have issues with some of your prints of course y'all know me if you love it stop don't put any more layers on it if you are not so sure just keep going because i mean you know you, you you've already used the paper what difference does it make now none makes no difference at all so we've put our flakes on there we've used uh it's a metallic uh, paint, craft paint, um, what's it called? Champagne, yeah, I believe. And it's pretty nice, y'all. I was going for turquoises. I think I have a blue, but they're mostly turquoise type colors. So, I think, I don't know. That's, that's not turquoise, <laughs> y'all, obviously. That's citron. I like the citron. I like the color citron, okay? But um, it's kind of hard to use. There's just certain, some certain colors it goes with and some it don't. It don't. So anyway, we're just going along. And as you can see, I am using two plates. Uh, the bigger one there was one of their big ones what is it like 14 by 16 or 14 by 20 or something like that and i cut it down yes i chopped it at because i'm that kind of girl um and the smaller one there is the standard eight by ten and i use it to brayer off on anymore oh it's, you get some pretty neat paint or prints now, i also use it to print with so i mean you know any hoot so we're using both of them and just a regular uh brayer was it a uh, soft no hard rubber burr i don't know speedball y'all it's my favorite brayer um, so this is actual gold paint and i think we're about to use a stencil and i used uh i, I fell for tanya mcguire's look at these mandala stencils y'all so i had to get them so I did. That's one of them. I think, I don't know how many is in the pack, y'all. It's on Amazon. I think the link is below, but I'm not going to swear to it. I am not an affiliate. Not with them. Anyways, I'm using my fingertips to, because it is a cardstock, and to try to push the cardstock into the gaps there on the stencil. And as you can see, it works pretty well. I use the heel, the palm of my hand for most other pulls. I am not worried about getting sharp, crisp uh, stencil images. Uh, my point is, I, I'm not using this as a mono print, okay? I use these more of a background or, I don't know, to make pretty papers, because they just making pretty papers makes me happy. And I don't need to explain to you why it makes me happy, it just does. Guy, guy. More gold. Gonna use the stencil again, probably for sure. For sure about that, y'all. So um, let's see what else is going on. And we are using we are uh, the paint that is on the eight by ten over there does get some drying time in between. So yeah, it layers up pretty good. Uh, I know I've already asked you uh, to follow the links. Did I ask you to follow the links? No. I'm telling you. 
Find the links in the description box below for more collaborators on Going for Gold, y'all. Uh, be sure to like their videos. Mm -hmm. Share their videos. Mm -hmm. Kind comment, please, on their videos. And uh, if you like what they're doing, why don't you go ahead and push their subscribe button, y'all? Because, you know, everybody loves subscribers. Oh, I'm just, yeah, pretty happy with most of the friends. I wouldn't absolutely say absolutely every one of them, but, you know, even if you end up with one print and there's just one little part you like, you cut that part out. You can just use just that one little part. You don't have to use the whole thing. Because, you know, if you do mono printing, you know it's very hit and miss sometimes. Even if you do the exact same thing, it's still very hit and miss. Now we're going to use two pieces, or we're going to use a piece of black cardstock over there. And then in a minute, we're going to do the uh, cleanup pull off the big plate with a piece of black cardstock. Thems is pretty, y'all. Yes, Thems is pretty. And then we'll have a little project coming up. So, as y'all know, there's, you know, you put your color on, you brayer it out, and do stencils if you want. You can do household supplies. There's just all kinds of ways you can make marks. I was trying so hard not to get too much paint on my hands, y'all. <laughs> ah, I got a big old puddle of paint somewhere. I think I'll find it in a minute in uh there it is. It just, you know, sometimes that happens. Your paint just blobs it and falls off the plate like that. So, any hoots, we're doing that. Oh, we're going to use the brayer on this one. Evidently, I felt like I wanted to. And as you can see, it's got lovely colors on it. Gold. And uh, so the actual back of this one's actually not too too shabby either. I mean, it's not it's not necessarily necessarily not necessarily my favorite, but you know, look looks better in real life, y'all. Sometimes they look better in real life than they do. I really like that one too. <sighs> so many favorites. How can all of them be a favorite? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we're going to, this This was a choice, a conscious decision I made. Sometimes when you seal your uh, papery images, the color depth and different layers will uh, show more depth. I know I already said that word. So I'm using some gloss, var gloss, gloss varnish on there. And I do that on every one of them. And it's not a bad idea to do, not necessarily gloss, because you can get all kinds of sheen and varnish. There's matte and satin and semi-gloss and, I don't know, semi-gloss, satin, same thing, but whatever. And, you know, you don't have to do that. You can use uh, fluid matte mediums too, you can, whatever you want, if you want to. Uh, but because of the flakes, I do like to seal those up. And I do like to use the gloss because you will lose some shimmer to your uh, foil flakes if you use anything else. So we're just taking a look at some of the prints. Some of them I'd already used before I uh, decided to film this part. So yeah, that happens. Pretty. I think I think they're pretty. Mm -hmm. Grungy too. Got some grunge going on, you know. If you like the grunge, and that's the deli paper that I used uh, to help protect my hands from getting so painty. But you know, y'all saw it didn't work that well. So what I'm doing is I'm trimming down uh, some of the prints because we're going to make greeting cards. I know. Thanks for coming. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all. So we're just trimming them down to whatever size I trimmed them down to. I, you know, made, um, I did not use store-bought card bases. I took a uh, black sheet of card stock cut it in half, and then folded those halves in half. So I get two cards from one sheet of card stock, okay? And we're gonna be using these as uh, the front panel. 
Also made envelopes. I didn't show y'all that part, but you know how to make an envelope. And I used coloring book pages for that, y'all. Uh, I don't, I, 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 you know, the whole coloring, adult coloring fad. It's not a fad. It's a trend, whatever. Whatever. A lot of people really love it. Me, not quite so much. So, anyway, doing something with those pages, finally. Well, some of them. So we used uh, the um, advanced tape glider, which I also call ATG gun. It's not a gun, but it's got a trigger uh, to adhere these down with, uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a permanent tape that's in there, but I don't know. And I went and die cut some letters and some uh, wildflowers from uh, just black cardstock, y'all. Uh, they are unbranded flowers. I think the link, I got them from Amazon. And so I think the link is in the description box. Let's cross fingers. And then these words, pretty sure I, the, it's not a link for that, but the uh, name brand is down there on that. So we're just doing this. And what I'm doing is right there with that old stencil brush, because you know it's a really nice stiff brush. Sometimes when you die cut, finer detail stuff, you will end up with like a little fuzzy cut paper stuff. I don't know why it happens. I just run it through one time and it still happens. And I just use that brush to help knock away some of those fine little, I mean, they're like little tiny hairs, y'all. I don't know what's up with that. So we're just smooshing that down, gluing it down with art glitter glue. And now we're going to put some diamonds, y'all. Get some diamonds on it. Now, this particular, uh, my secret internet at Mars sent me these diamonds, y'all. Thank you, secret internet at Mars. So there's like two or three sizes of diamonds in each little cube. And they're different colors. You know, each cube is a different color. Anyway. These are gold. They look like little chunks of gold. Photo montage. I almost missed it, y'all. Uh, anyway, that's what we do. We put the flowers on there. We computer printed out a sentiment for the inside because, you know, it's the law. It's no law. Anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares. And subscriptions. Have you subscribed to me today? <laughs> Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.